Hello everyone. I am going to configure physical stacking on the D-Link switch. Please. So I have a two uh, D-Link switches uh, with the model of DGS 363028TC and uh, as you can see the MAC address is 48000 okay so i am going to make this 4800 mac address device as a master of the stack so let's proceed for the configuration under management stacking physical stacking and first i have to click on enable and click on apply and it will prompt me for the reboot click ok now let's apply the stack id 1 and I will change the new box ID to 1 and I will set the priority to 1 because the least number will be the winner as a master so I put 1 and the default value on the box is 32 so I put my priority manually as a 1 because I want to make this box with the box with the MAC address of 4800 as a master so click and apply it asking me that it will not take effect until I reboot the device I will click OK now I am going to configure my second box uh, okay so the second box is having a different ID a MAC address FA00 so I'm going to management stacking physical stacking first I have to enable the stack click apply and it will prompt me for the reboot and say okay and then I will change here the current ID unit ID uh, I can say as uh, 2 new box ID 2 and I will set the priority to 10 because I want to make this box as a uh, backup stack actually the backup box so apply uh, the specified unit does not exist ok 1 1 I will just make as a new box ID is equal to 2 and I will make it as 10 sorry I will just click on 10 apply so the command does not take effect until the next reboot click ok let's save the configuration apply globally the configuration is saved I will just click apply ok now I will open the command prompt ping 192.168.0.1 minus t this is my master box ok and I will just put cmd192.168.0.2 because the backup box will not be reachable and we will be able to monitor uh, manage the box using the IP address of 01 so I'm going to plug the stack cable and then I will reboot the devices so 2 and reboot system yes reboot and I will go into tools reboot and reboot
I think it will take two to three minutes. So it's almost done. And beside this, I connected my console cable. Close, close, and uh, you can see admin enable admin show stack. So you can see that the stack mode is enabled, preemption is enabled, and you see the 4800 due to the less priority, mean one is become as a master. Okay, so my box ID is one and master ID is one and the backup master ID is set to two. Okay, so as you can see that the second switch IP is not reachable and the master box IP is reachable so we will we will do a web login admin admin turn front and as you can see 4800 okay and uh, here you can see the 4800 as a stack master okay now if you want to apply the configuration to the second unit as you can see the stack id is one if you want to apply a configuration to the second box you can just switch from stack id two now you can see you are switched to the stack uh, box number two and if you if you verify show running config as you can see that the 109 here it is like 1025 and 26 and 201 for the second box so by enabling a stacking on a dealing switches it will uh, take by default two ports the last two ports so I'm using 28 port switch so it took port number 27 and 28 as a stack port okay thank you for watching